Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, I got a complete review of the Overmont Dutch Oven. So y'all stay tuned. So much like our camp made, um, you know, you see the grind marks, I guess that's where they ground the uh, casting, some of the casting marks off of it. The rest of the surface, pretty, pretty rough. It's pre-seasoned though, it is pre-seasoned. So let's, let's take a look at the lid, there you go, this, spin around here. So this is the logo, and there's those legs. So you can set that thing actually on some fire. Maybe you only camping, you may be able to use that lid for like a skillet. All right, so as you can see in that unbox clip there, um, the quality of the casting is is pretty rough. It's probably comparable to Camp Made and some other um, made in China ovens like the, uh, the Ozark Trail brand from Walmart. And uh, pardon the mockingbirds here, it's springtime and the birds have been wide open. We had a pink moon last night, and I came out here to check it out, and it was so bright that all the birds were singing at 2 a.m. And, of course, I wanted to shoot a video, so this guy's got to come around and let y'all hear your song. So, as I mentioned uh, just now that this uh, oven is made in China, um, I want to show you another quick clip of the uh, the lid there you know it's got this eagle molded into it which uh, at first glance seems like a, a pretty cool thing but what I found is is uh, that all that uh, little you know these bumps and grooves and things like that make it really hard to clean your ashes after you're done Dutch oven cooking with it and even with your lodge brush I mean you got to get in there and dig at it a lot of water because you know they all stick in here the ashes all stick in those little moldings uh, that's just one of the problems that I found with the lid. Here's a few more. All right, real quick, the Overmont comes with this little baby short little lifter here. Now, you got coals on there, that's going to be way too close, okay? I have tried it. It is way too close if you have coals on it. But if you're just using it as a lid, it works fine. Except for the fact that it doesn't, it's very precarious on there. You can't... You see how, how it rocks? You can't, the handle's not tall enough. The loop isn't long enough. Uh, in, in contrast, I can go right over here to my Lodge 10 inch right here and hook it to the same handle. Okay. And I can tilt that back and it's not precarious. Okay. It's still not the greatest thing in the world, but um, the uh, you can tilt it and hold it. So. I don't know how much good this is, but it does fit down inside. Let's open her up. And uh, so I guess that's the reason for making it short. I don't know. All right, so the other thing uh, that we found, you know, was this rim. This rim right here, it's about half the size of a lodge or camp made as far as the height goes. And you're really going to have to watch, that you, especially if you're using regular charcoal, they like to fall off. I mean, you're constantly trying to sweep these edges. That out. Let's go ahead and get that lid back on again very carefully. Wow. Gingerly trying to keep your ashes from falling off this rim and keep from tipping it by hitting that lid. Again, if y'all watched any uh, previous videos of us using this product, we always try to keep our whisk broom handy to keep the ashes off the edge so the lid but what intrigued me about this Dutch oven because it has these feet you know that stick up here so you can turn it over like a spider skillet and cook on it well um, this is kind of how that went
So as I kind of suspected, you know, the feet are kind of small on the Overmont lid and it really smothered out the coals in the middle. So I'll go ahead and put a few more that I had left here in the chimney. We've got some little ones right there. Back in there to reignite those ones in the middle. Because the fire really did burn down big time, uh, especially in the center. Another thing, my my buddy uh, Chef Johnny also reviewed this oven over at Texas Style Cuisine. If you haven't yet, go out and head and check out his channel. I'm going to leave you a card right up here somewhere. It's going to pop up and go see his channel. He tried this out. He was, he likes to spin his top uh, a lot when he's cooking. Um, I don't necessarily do that too much, so I did I didn't really notice that these tabs that stick off the side, which I guess they wanted you to use as a handle if you're using it in the spider skillet this way. Uh, they stick out and they interfere with the bale of the uh, the pot part and you can't spin it. It hangs up on them. The biggest problem I had with the little tabs that stick off the side is uh, when you grab that handle, uh, when you grab your lifter here, that hits your bale because the, the bale on the pot is about an inch too short. So, you, you know, as you're coming up, it wants to hang on that bale and then it tips your top and... Here's a little example of when that happened to me. All right, so that's had a little chance to get going, and I really hate how these little tabs that this thing has hang up under that 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 lid. You know, um, you know, I just about dumped the coals off the daggum top because these little tabs hung on that lid. All right, folks. Well, it just happened to me. I was taking a lid loose there just to put a little extra uh, the leftovers from the other bowl that we just back and packed that daggum tab right there caught on this handle which is not a big enough loop to clear it okay they'd have made a handle a little bit longer you know probably wouldn't have them but it did and if you know charcoals try to come off the top because you can't balance this lid with a standard lid lifter like this one so if you're going to get this oven i would suggest using one of the more like the squeeze type ones that hook from the top that can you know balance it with its little feet or something like the camp made big contraption to lift it because your your standard like a lodge type or you know this just generic one that we've been using for i don't know since this channel's been alive that's nine years oh actually i've had that one probably much longer than that um yeah and those those tabs don't know so all in all uh price wise this uh the overmont sells on amazon for 39 bucks so you know that's about uh two thirds less than a or a third less than a lodge uh, about the same as a camp made about the same as most of your other like uh, generic brands from Walmart, Academy Sports, Bass Pro, don't even carry, I don't think, a, um, a, an off brand. I think Cabela's does make one too that's also made in China. So comparable with price on that, but if, if you're, uh, you know, trying to make the decision to buy one of these more, uh, more affordable t uh, Dutch ovens, don't fall into the hype with this lid deal, okay? Uh, to me, it just didn't work. Uh, and it was really the, uh, the only thing I found wrong with the whole process. Get on the top of that, all the ashes falling off. It's very, very short rim on the Overmont. It's been another issue of mine, just like the, with the Lodge Cook It All. Um, cook It All is even thinner than this one. But like you see, I don't know if you can see it at all on camera, that this little tab and the lid itself interferes with this handle. Seems like to be a simple improvement. If you'd like to see more product reviews from outdoor cooking gear here at the Backwoods Gourmet channel, I'm going to leave you a link right up there to our whole playlist. And also check out our Amazon store on recently reviewed products. We'll put this one up there if you want to take a closer look at it. And Hey, if you want to buy it, we appreciate that too.